YouTube, man. Madden is all the way out. I hope you guys have it. I hope you guys are enjoying it, man. This was my Super Bowl and mud season, man. We need these coins. We need these new players. More importantly, we need training. Rough. But all the MCS news has been released today, and we're actually going to be playing the club series on straight mutt. No more salary cap. It's going to be mutt for $750,000, man. I'm really not sure how to register or where to go. So if you want to, you know, if you want to keep up with that, make sure you continue following and following all my social media links below. And you can watch me play these games live on Twitch. We stream every single night. I've kind of been on a night shift lately, 10 p.m. to probably shoot 7 a.m., something like that. Uh, so let me know if you guys are from YouTube when you jump in the stream. The one thing is I can, we can, the menus are a little faster now. I know you guys have been experience, experiencing a ton of lag over the weekend with early access access but it feels pretty good right now so with that being said man let's go ahead and check out my team that i'm using right now I'll tell you guys what i like uh what my favorite positions are now i have russell wilson honestly i might try lamar just for that extra speed i had russell pulled russell so i used him and i said you know what uh, you know, he has no reason to take him out. You know, he hasn't made a bad throw. He hasn't made a mistake. Seems fast enough. His throw power is good enough. Uh, he's been really good. So if you guys have Russell Wilson, I really have nothing bad to say about Russ. The only difference is Lamar has that 88 speed. Uh, and the quarterbacks can move behind the line of scrimmage pretty decently. And once they've crossed that line, boom, that 88 speed is pretty top-notch in the game right now. Um... Then I have work done at running back. I use backfield master on him, uh, and and it's really effective. A lot of people are running max coverage, three man rush, so you need to use all your receivers. We have Diamond um, Jermichael Finley. For me, uh, probably the best tight end in the game. Has really good route running. He's 6'5". If you guys played Madden 12, you know how much of a beast Jermichael Finley was. We got Lane. We got Bakiari. Travis Frederick uh, powered up. Um, we got Drew Bennett. He is the Titans. Um, diamond player, man. He is a dog. Once again, if you guys remember like Madden 06, Madden 05, 04, in that time frame when Drew Bennett was on the Titans, either with McNair or with Vince Young, um, him being that tall, there was like a high ball mechanic or you could just pass lead up and jump and get the ball. Um, Drew Bennett was a beast in Madden and he's really good right now. I mean, he's not the fastest, but route running, I have route technician on him and I have a uh, slot apprentice. So he gets the hot routes in the slot. This game, I'll be running a lot of bunch. Um, then I have Tyreek Hill. Got to have the burner. Oh, I don't even know if you guys can't even see Tyreek Hill right here, but we can go ahead and get rid of that real quick. But I have Tyreek Hill right there and Ed McCaffrey. You know, Ed McCaffrey is my Madden Bowl hero. So he's on the team for sure. Tyreek Hill and uh, which I'm gonna call it and Drew Bennett. Those are my three wide receivers, which are Michael Finley. Defense, <clears throat> defense, we got. See, now we look at a lot of people's teams and they have backups. I'll be honest, if you don't play, I'm really not investing a lot in you. Like Brandon Williams, I could honestly sell him for training and put another gold here because him and Montez Sweat don't really play. So I have Deion Jones and he really doesn't play either. But I have Adelius Thomas and Elvis Doomerville. Those are my pass rushers. They have edge threat. Edge threat is really good early in the game. Uh, and it's a really effective uh, pass rushing technique. Uh, and so I use those two guys at the end. I use Aaron Donald at D tackle. I also have Charles Johnson, who I tried with El Toro. It wasn't that good. Uh, secondary, I have Sante Samuel, Trey Waynes, Troy Vincent, Denzel Ward, Terrell Edmonds. I have Grant Delpit. I have uh, that more corners than I can count, really. Isaiah Simmons, who I told you guys is the best player in Mutt. Uh, Pat Pete, we put a safety because he makes plays. Adrian Wilson is my um, free safety, the best safety in the game if you guys can get him. Uh, so I feel like I, my team doesn't look good. My team never looks good on screenshot because I just don't fill up the positions I don't use. I feel like I can use that coin and that training and that value other places. So I'm like, I have Shaquem Griffin and Devin Bush, just fast people that you know, or just gold cards. So they fill up those spots. So that's my team. Now I'll tell you abilities. I'm still trying them myself. I'm still, you know, figuring out which ones I like the most. I'm really not sure where I'm going to go with abilities. So you guys want to ask what abilities, what abilities? I really don't know yet. I know I have a uh, pass protecting chems on my tackles. Uh, I have uh, route chem and slot and route technician on Drew Bennett, along with the edge threat. Those are pretty much the locked in abilities that I like right now. But like I said, follow that Twitch and you guys can stay along with all the changes I make if you check out these streams live. But let's get into this Super Bowl action. Will I fold or will I win the Super Bowl? 
here it is, man. We're in the Super Bowl. This is my first Super Bowl of the season. Now, I'll tell you, uh, I saw a thread on Twitter this week about the Super Bowl celebration has been the same in Madden for four years. Honestly, I haven't noticed it. Honestly, I really don't care about what the celebration looks like. I'll tell you what, it's pretty cool when it looks like you're in the Super Bowl right here with the cameras flashing, you know, the little logos on the field, everything. It looks pretty cool. So I'm pretty locked in the first one in the year. And on top of that, I'm playing the Rams jerseys. Now, t chat, talk to me about the Rams jerseys. Are, do you guys like the new Rams jerseys or don't like them? I, I'll be honest. They're looking pretty clean in, on the Madden field. Now, sometimes in pictures or in the new, the, you know, the reveal, they don't look that good. But right here on the field, not too mad about them. As we see my pass rushers or my boys playing good coverage right there, getting home. Uh, he throws underneath right here to Akers. This dude, Akers, is a dog. Budget beast early in the year. Make sure you guys get Akers at running back if you're looking to save some coin in a particular position. Akers is a dog, and he goes to the RPO bubble to Will Fuller. I'll be honest, this RPO bu bubble is going to rear its ugly head. Now, for me, if I ever really want to stop RPO bubbles, things like that, I play two men under, make sure the corners are up on the uh on the receivers and i pass commit so they stay connected to the receiver that way they won't allow that to be open but we'll continue to see how that goes throughout the rest of the game as we hit mccaffrey right there the big horse that's one thing you guys asked man bigger bodies need to matter they need to feel like they're six five and i'll be honest ed mccaffrey or michael finley drew bennett they feel like they're six five man uh so uh it's definitely a plus i throw the ball out here to finley again falling forward i picked up about 11 yards on a flat right route right there Real big difference from this year and last as I go up top, Tyree Kill, wheel route, boom. Just like that, pick up 30 yards on the wheel route. We are inside the 20-yard line. In route, Tyree Kill, good dot, down to the one. Just like that, my Cam Akers gets in the end zone. I'm not sure if I have work done yet. Uh, one thing that I start put work done in the starting spot, but I did not change him as my third down running back. And a lot of times your third down running back or pass catching running back is in your shotgun sets. Uh, so... But Akers, like I said, is a, is a horse, man. If you guys, one budget player I'd take away from uh, the first weekend is probably Akers. And this guy's going to pepper me a little bit with the flats, trying to get his tight end and his running back involved, as you see here. Boom, underneath Akers, little juke. Sante Samuel, not the most physical corner, but he makes the play. But it was a first down. That's another thing I've noticed early in the year is you get a lot of favorable spots, whether it's the new mechanic of people fighting for extra yards uh, or what it is, but you get you definitely get a lot of favorable spots uh, from the line judge in Madden 21. But uh, you see my Ed's threats just getting there, getting behind these tackles, man. If you guys if I if you guys ask me, invest in one ability to make you a better man. I would probably put Edge threat. Um, it's pretty as we see we get intentional grounding right there. It's pretty brain dead just to put Edge threat right there and let them go ahead and eat as we throw in the flats again. Pick up a cool 20 yards to Germ. Big Jermichael Finley, six foot five. Uh, Jermichael is probably a guy that, probably as I throw this in route, McCaffrey, but Finley was a guy whose injuries really held back his career. Um, I don't know if it was concussions as we go up top to him again. Boom, inside the one yard line. Uh, I don't know if it was concussions or what it was with Jermichael Finley, but uh, he really looked like he was going to be a superstar with Aaron Rodgers, Greg Jennings, uh, Jordy Nelson, that team up there in Green Bay. Uh, like I said, Madden 12. They were a force on Madden 12. Face catching, man. If you guys remember face catching, man, let me know in the comments below. Face catching. I lost to so many people just chucking the ball up, man. People will never know how bad Madden was and could be as we get a sack, fumble to the crib. Charles Johnson right before half to make this game 21-7. to Now, I'll tell you, you know, people watching play live don't understand. Uh, live reps are the best reps. So you get in a game like this, you get a lead, you, you kind of realize your opponent can't really score. It's time to try something. Let's let's go cook a new defense. Let's go ahead and, and you know find a different scheme that maybe I can break out later in another game and kind of perfect it now. There's nothing like live reps. Live reps are the best reps you can get. Uh, so that's how I take these as Adrian Wilson. I told you guys the best safety in the game right there going ahead and making that play. Uh, and picking off before half. So we're going to halftime 21 to 7. And that also applies to the offensive side of the ball. Now, I've been running bunch a lot. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and mix in a little wide trips here the rest of the game. Wide trips is a formation I ran a lot when I won my Madden Championship. So I'm very familiar with it. And I throw the out route late. Picked off Trey Waynes. Just timing right there. Just timing. That's what I mean. You don't want to wait until you're in a tie game to throw that pick. But I throw a pick. And I'll tell you something about Madden. 
Now, I don't know if you guys agree or you disagree, but momentum is real. It, it Once it starts bubbling, once it starts flooding over, it is a absolute real thing in Madden. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but I definitely do. Even That's why sometimes you play safe as he goes back to the RPO bubble, picks up a first down with Will Fuller. That's why sometimes I play safe because I, I, I know that momentum is real. Momentum is something, if you let your opponent stay in the game, they're going to go ahead and make some plays. That's what it is right here. I mean, somehow he gets it in the end zone right there. I didn't know what happened there, but Acres, I'm telling you, this Acres card is a beast. 21 to 14 right now. Uh, but I still feel fine. I always feel fine, but I always feel good. You know, you can't let the last play affect the next play, pretty much how I feel. Uh, and uh, we got the, we got a chance to go ahead and go get some points with the two clock being kind of stuck on as we hit the slant right there. Big Eddie Mack. I don't know who you guys choose this team captain, but I would pick McCaffrey. But the good thing this year is I hit this out route right there to Acres. Uh, the good thing about this year is that you can change your team captain. You know, if you pick McCaffrey and all of a sudden, man, I don't really like him, man. He's not that good. He's slow. He's getting beat. You can go ahead and get Aeneas Williams or vice versa, whatever it may be. Um, so that's definitely one of the best features they put in the game there that you can change your team captain as we get sacked right there. Almost a gapped by Frank Clark right there. I don't know what happened there. Second and 21. We're going to hit this flat right here. Drew Bennett. I don't think Drew Bennett has a dropped pass since I had him in the lineup. I'm that confident, but Finley dropped that one. My fault. I rat caught that. Got a possession catcher. Going for a fourth and 15. Looking for this crosser. I'm going to hit this curl underneath. Oh, I should have hit the crosser. I gave Jermichael a chance. That was a little. I thought he would run with the crosser. No, he didn't. And he actually made the tackle on Jermichael Finley. Stops me right there. Probably should have punted the ball. But listen, it's early in the year. Let's, let's go ahead and see if we can get a fourth and 19. Give up a little flat pass. Troy Vincent. Had this Troy Vincent card. Not in love with Mr. Vincent. I'll tell you that, boys. Not in love with him. We'll see. We'll see what he does, uh, you know, later on in, in future games. But not really in love with Troy Vincent card. But we're up by seven here. A minute 20 left. What's going to happen? He goes Will Route Cam Akers, right? Cam, Akers, listen. If you guys are watching the video, get a Cam Akers. Look at that RPO bubble again. I have no answer for the RPO bubble. No answer. Runs a little inside zone here. We are under a minute left in the game. Uh, what's the play going to be? 30 seconds left. He has three timeouts. Goes up top like that. Boom. Incomplete. Knocked away by Troy Vincent. Next play looking again. He's going to go up top again to McCaffrey and Moss. Asante Sam. He's going to go for two. And look what he hits for the two-point conversion. Man. 22 seconds left. Three timeouts. Like I've said a million times. I have done more with less. Now, the kickoff, I'm going to run straight up field. I don't want to waste any time on a kickoff. Uh, I don't want to juke. I don't want to spin. I don't want to run laterally. I got 17 seconds. Let's make a play. Easy when you hit the wheel route. First play, big Eddie Mack down the sideline. Boom, 37-yard line. Need another catch, though, because we can't kick this field goal yet. Boom, just like that post route Tyreek kill inside the 15-yard line. We're going to let this run down to Four seconds left on the clock. He's going to take an ice field goal, man. And if you guys have been watching this channel for any sort of time, you guys know that I don't really care about ice, especially 15 yard. This is a 35, what, third, 42 yard field goal. Cake, money, GG's, chat, just like that. 22 seconds right down the field. I have done more with less. Comment, like, subscribe.